As you head up Alder Canyon in the spring, it would be virtually impossible not to notice the Matillaha poppies on the left-hand side. Uh, they're virtually covering the, uh, the entire slope on your left. And uh, in mid-spring, usually any time from mid-April uh, through, uh, through June, um, you will see these wonderful blossoms. This is among uh, the most spectacular of the flowering uh, California natives um, anywhere in the state. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a very large area of them here. Um, the flowers can get up to eight inches wide, perhaps even more, and just the individual flowers are uh, incredible to look at. Um, while dainty looking, the, uh, those petals are crinkled, they really look a lot like crepe paper, uh, and then they have this large uh, ball of golden stamens in the middle, which gives it one of its names, uh, common names of the fried egg flower or fried egg plant. Um, and they also have a wonderful fragrance. On top of that, the, uh, the flower is just a pollinator magnet. You'll see all sorts of uh, native bees, honeybees, uh, just pollinators of every kind um, all over these flowers in the spring. Um, the foliage itself is interesting too. The color is just kind of a, maybe a grayish green or a blue green. Um, uh, very different, it stands out against uh, uh, many of the other uh, plants. Um, it's an interesting plant to plant in that uh, it's, it's often reported to be very difficult to start. And I think one reason for that is uh, most of the plants in the poppy family, or at least many of them, have very, very delicate roots. So if it's something you're going to plant in your yard, you, you do have to be very careful when you're removing it from the container and putting it in the hole. It's not something you want to uh, rough up as you're planting it. Um, once it finds a good place and it's established, it, uh, it, can, be, it can spread very aggressively, actually. This, uh, this whole hillside wasn't planted. These plants have spread to cover it and um, have even come up on the other side of walkways. Uh, so they're very vigorous once they get going. Um, but it's really just a, a, an amazing, beautiful plant. Um, as uh, we go through the end of summer into fall, they do start looking a bit tired. And uh, at the end of fall or beginning of winter, um, if you're growing these, you do want to cut them back very close to the ground, maybe uh, somewhere between six inch and one foot stubs, and they'll come back vigorously um, with the rains of winter.